Hello, ladies and gentlemen, those in between and beyond. Future Thief here, back in a set of course, a competizione, and did they fix it? So originally, I was going to make a video. Um, we're going to go into time trial here to do the ACR time trial on the Lexus, but um, I was going to do a video about like what I expect from a set of course, a competizione before I'll pay the uh, extra $20 to play the GT4 cars um, and before I even get the chance to record the audio for that video um, a new patch comes out and this new patch is kind of remarkable so they have added private lobbies as in they've added the ability for private lobbies um, to be implemented. They still haven't given the users access to it yet, but performance enhancements on the pro consoles? Okay, does that mean they you know, got it at a solid 30 FPS? Does that mean they've unlocked the frame rate? Are we gonna get 60 FPS somehow? Um, and then they also said they fixed the force feedback because the force feedback was just, there was something off about it. Um, and certain options weren't really working very well. But, I mean, as we go into Brand's hatch, what is this? What? Kunos, Kunos, I don't know how you did it, but you somehow got this game that wasn't even running at a solid 30 FPS to at least in hot lap mode, it's running at a pretty uh, consistent 60 FPS. Now, there are a couple of th caveats. Number one, they've clearly just unlocked the frame rate. So, um, as soon as you get other cars in there, once if you are running with max number of cars on something like Spa, you can see dips into like the low 40s, mid 40s, but 43 FPS with uh, the PS4 Pro's system level V-Sync is still a better experience than the weird 30 FPS lock that we had before. And not only that, but this unlocking of the frame rate has completely fixed the input lag. I genuinely felt that not only could I lap better, I could feel the car better, the fixes to the force feedback allowed me to not only react to the car, but also to kind of, I don't know, I could predict and react way smoother, and I, I don't know, even the Mercedes was easier to drive, like, I know I'm still in the Lexus, because I, I don't know, I can't drive the Mercedes as quickly, but... Even in the Mercedes, when I was doing like a, my campaign uh, earlier last night, um, I could still I could react to it. I could uh, correct for oversteer. It's it's incredible. Um, so this was my fastest lap that I was able to do. And the ACR time trial this week is at Brands Hatch. Um, obviously, I'm back in the Lexus. I don't like Brands Hatch, or I didn't like Brands Hatch until I played this version. Um, this is really, really good. Um, the way that these last couple of corners from here, and then you go down the hill, back up the hill, break, turn. The way that that sequence flows is incredible. It's not like Gran Turismo Sport at all, where you feel like you're sh throwing the car back and forth. Uh, it's way smoother. So... Really happy with the lap that I did. Um, I think I probably could have gotten a low 24, but I didn't want to spend another three hours on it because uh, this this lap took me about two hours. So I think what I'll do is I'll just leave you guys with the lap.
All right, and there you have it, 125.0. Definitely could have gotten a 124, but I'm happy with this time. Again, it's not the fastest time, but little improvements are what I'm looking for right now. Um, before we go, though, I did want to show the uh, force feedback because I did change some settings uh, before going into this race uh, or into the hot lap. So this is what I changed. Uh, first, I put the dampening back up to 100%. Um, basically, the way that the road effects worked before meant that if you had any dampening on whatsoever, you weren't going to get any kind of uh, fluidity and any kind of detail. So I have the dampening back up to 100%. I've lowered the gain just a little bit because I found that the um, whatever fix they did uh, caused a little bit of clipping on the higher end. So I've just lowered the gain just a little bit. And then I was recording using a controller because I just wanted to view the replay because um, I did this uh, earlier today. But the steering lock is not at zero. Uh, I have the steering lock at 620 degrees and the steer linearity being at 1.12 means that the wheel on screen and the Logitech G29 are in sync. They're exactly the same. So just a little bit of extra settings. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more ACC content, or if you want to see me play Gran Turismo Sport, I stream every Saturday and Wednesday over at Twitch. Uh, if you like what you saw here, make sure you subscribe, like, and uh, comment if you want to see more. And if you're thinking about uh, getting the new GT4 pack, if you have ACC on console, or if you held off on getting it, are you going to get it? So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.